What's going on fam? Angus Beef here with my boy Simba who has just been sitting down snoring like a trooper. Um, <laughs> I want to talk with you guys today about when is a good idea to transition into intuitive eating. Now, fun fact, um, one of the ripple effects and repercussions, if you will, what are you shaking for? What are you shaking for? Huh? One of the ripple effects of conventional dieting bullshit, right, is that it fucks up your intuitive cues um, that were already there before you ventured into all of your dieting, right? So when we force restrict ourselves and force all this shit onto us, right, we actually lose a lot of these. Um, intuitive cues that we used to have, right? Examples being knowing when we're actually hungry, knowing when we're actually full and um, you know, actually satiated, um, knowing when is like an actual, like having a regular eating schedule, like these sort of things, food fears, rah, rah, rah. So it's like dieting fucks us up from a lot of different ways and a lot of different angles, right? So I usually say that for someone to be ready to move into intuitive based eating, before that can happen, it's wise to have a period of time where you're just like, you're focusing on just getting healthy, right? You're focusing on just being fed and nourished and um, you know just spacing out meals throughout the day and that sort of stuff. And then before you go into full intuitive mode, have probably about three to six months maybe at least of building on what you just did but eating towards maybe like a calorie range and then like a protein range and a plant range so that you can start to actually build a bit of um, awareness around what's in food, build a bit of awareness around what's high in what, what's high in protein, what's high in uh, you know plants, what's high in these sort of things. So that way, when you then move into um, intuitive world and stuff like that, you'll be able to do so in a way where you might go from like, rather than tracking all seven days of the week. You're doing big yawns, boy, huh? You're doing such big yawns. Rather than, um, yeah, tracking seven days of the week, you might then only track six days of the week and have one day where you just mindfully eat and the numbers are in your head anyway because, you know, like it's something that you can't really escape. By the numbers, I mean like, you know, you look at a meal and you'll think to yourself how many calories are in it, whether it's high protein or not, rah, rah, rah. Like that's an asset to have when you've done it properly, right? And then maybe you might transition to five days tracking and then two days intuitive, four days tracking, three days intuitive, all the way down to, um, you know, one full week of no tracking and then one week tracking and then you'll transition to maybe only tracking you know, once every couple of weeks or once a month. And then before you know it, you're full intuitive and you've also got a good, nice uh, internal basis around what it's like to actually eat to a certain amount of calories. You see what I mean? So yeah, that's my sort of two cents on it. I feel that a lot of people who have had a past of dieting bullshit and then trying to just go full cold turkey into, right, I'm gonna be intuitive now, it's gonna be awesome, fuck yes, I'm gonna be, you know, I'm gonna be on point, it's gonna be sick. Like if you try and go from, you know, chronic dieting and binge eating and shit like that straight into intuitive eating, you're probably gonna get it wrong and you'll probably stress about gaining a bit of weight anyway and you'll just wanna go back into dieting. So what's wise is to just learn how to heal yourself get into a period of time where you are actually learning how to track calories and macros positively in a non-dieting context, and then shift your way into intuitive-based eating. And fun fact, this is an approach that I actually take on when I am working with someone through my fuck dieting process, where we actually go through a similar, you know, sort of focus, but um, over six phases overall, with periods of time where we are focusing on building muscle, where we have got periods of time where we're recompositioning their body, so referred to as recomp, right? Where we're trying to build muscle and lean down at the same time. And then a period where we're also off tracking altogether and a period of time where we are actually isolated um, eating for fat loss, right? So if this is something that um, you feel could be a benefit to you, get in touch, slide into my DMs, let us know and we can have a bit of a yarn. Otherwise, if you have any questions around this in terms of like you, maybe you're trying to transition into intuitive eating and you find that it's a bit of a struggle, let us know in the comments below as well. Let's keep the conversation rocking. And if you found this video valuable, drop it some love and um, yeah, share it so that more people can see it. Big love, catch you later.